Before I get started, please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any new material that I'm going to be producing in the future. And that helps us grow the channel, grow more content, and help people like you. We would like to guard against that and actually uh, do a division which is safe. So at the, here we want to do return uh, div a and b. And in traditional languages, uh, we'll have a try, uh, an accept or catch, depending on the, on the language, uh, to, to get the error. In Go, we're going to use the defer. And inside the defer, Uh, we're going to have an error. Uh, we're going to call it a built-in function called recover. Yeah. I don't know why I have a deja vu on this one. No, I'm just here. Okay. Um, so we're going to call the built-in function called recover. And recover, if there is a panic, will return what was uh, the panic. Otherwise, uh, it is going to return us a nil. So if there's no nil, uh, we would like to do something here. Right, so let's start by um, I will print pan and do nothing. Okay, so uh, now when we're going to run the code, uh, oh, now we want the safety. Now I want the safety. Uh, we, we will see the panic, the, the fact that we actually got here to this place. And the value now uh, from that we get is zero, which is the zero value for the type of the return value, which is an integer. All right, so because there is no actual return value, uh, we get back an integer, but since there was no assignment to that integer, uh, what we get is, um, is you. Yeah. So let, let's change the function a little bit. Uh, and we say that we want to return also an error. Otherwise, we're going to print the value. Okay, so uh, we're changing the behavior, which is more traditionally like uh, an exception to something which is uh, more uh, idiomatic go, which is saying return, uh, return a value. And what we would like to do is do a return, let's say zero and something like this. Right? This is uh, what we would like to do. And uh, when we're going to run this program, it is not even going to compile. Right? Because um, the defer is, gets a function of uh, zero arguments and has no return value. Right, and we can say that uh, we want a function also that does an int and an error, like this. So this is going to uh, this is going to compile, and here we're going to do the new. Yeah. So the question: What do I do here? How can I return the, the actual value that we got from here? Um, and, and this becomes a little bit complicated uh, to do. So the solution in Go is something that we haven't seen so far, which is um, giving names 
through the return values. Okay, and I'm going to change it uh, to B. And then what I'm going to do uh, is assign to error. Okay, so uh, we get some kind of a panic and um, we use named return values, which is what you see on line 16. And these are like any other variables inside the function. So I can do val equals seven here, that is fine. So these are like two new variables that are inside the function and we can access them, right? Uh, we can do anything we want here. Uh, we can change them. And we can also change them from this function, which is a different function from the safe diff that we have. And when we run it now, uh, With an error. Okay, so we see that we get error division by zero. Um, and we do the, the heavy path. Uh, we will see that uh, we get through. <laughs>